Hi, I'm going to show you how to put together my round lanterns. We're using the cat lantern this time, but they're all the same. I'm assuming you have your pieces already cut, so let's go. Okay, to assemble the base here, let's start with these. Start with this piece, the one that has the notches here and here. You're going to take this one, which has the notch in the top, Put it up through so that it fits into that notch, down here so that it fits into this notch, like this. Now take your third piece and go up through the top here and from the bottom there. So now you have all three pieces fitting together. You don't need to tape anything. You don't need to glue anything. Next, you take either the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. These two, for this one, these are the same. So I start with the top one, push these away so you can get to them and line up the notch here and the one on the opposite side. You have to bend a little to get it to fit over here. And sometimes it's a little struggle, but it'll do it, it'll fit. Go there, go there. Now the next one goes up in its spot. Here and here. Just be gentle, it feels like you're gonna tear it. But if you're careful, you won't. And here, and over on this side here, so that they're all together and it holds the pumpkin shape open. Now the bottom piece is actually a little easier because everything is held apart. So slide that in here, and then the one next door, and the one next to that. And the one next to that. It gets a little tighter as you go, but it still is not a no big deal. Take your time. Careful not to tear anything. And there you have it. It's all put together. Let's smooth some things out, make sure they're fitting where they should. Oops, that one slipped out, so he's over here. And then it will sit level and steady for you. Now I'm going to use my vellum paper to put inside of the panels. I've used different materials for this. I've used some parchment, which I had to cut by hand because it does not stick to my mat. The vellum is beautiful and works really well. Uh, tracing paper would work, tissue paper will work, but if you've got, can get your hands on some of this, this is gonna be the best, I think. So you have the option of just sliding these into the uh, frame without gluing. I'm going to glue mine because I think it makes it just feel, it still looks just great. But I think it will, by gluing it, will not create shadows quite so much here, look a little bit cleaner, and probably be a little bit more stable. So right now I'm using a, a Zig glue pen, which gives me the a way to be able to get little detail and make everything stick down. This will take just a second to go and go around all the edges. You don't have to cover it completely, just get the points where you want the vellum to stick down. See on the cat's face up here on his ears that are going to stick up if you don't glue them. And that little cloud point is a good place. I like this pen because it makes it so I can put a little bit of, this is what I'm using, a little bit of glue without it squishing out everywhere. So these have a, a larger, a big end and a small end. Not all of mine do, but some of them do. So make sure you get the right one in the right place. 
lay it back down on there and rub it down good. And let it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together so I can show you, but let it dry before you put it in place. And now to assemble this is super easy because there's the slot here. I'm gonna stick that bottom piece into that slot and this piece into the slops, top slot. And there it is. Once this is dry, these will all lay down and be flat. I See, I think it gives it a cleaner look than the one that's not glued. So now, last of all, is the top. Now each of my different designs have a different top, but they're all gonna go together the same. Same as the rest of this box, they all go together the same. So I'm gonna put glue, I'm gluing two of these together because it gives it a little bit more reinforcement. Makes it a little stronger with all these pieces that are sticking up. A little bit less, less likely to get bent in day-to-day -day moving around and knocking things about. And then line them up perfect, as perfect as you can, as closely as you can, and press it down. Now to put this top on, this slot needs to go over the top of the area that's open where with the pieces that are put together, which is just like this. If you put it in the wrong spot, it just sits on top and looks kind of silly. But if you find this, slide it down on that. It fits up right against I suppose it is easier than this. I'm making it look really hard. Slip it right. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see. Slip it right down on there. I do not glue it in place because I want to be able to take this apart to ship it or whatever you're going to do with it. Give it to a friend, whatever. And that is how they go together. Now to light these lovely lanterns. You can use a votive candle, slip one of the panels out, put the candle inside, put the panel back in. You'll have to remove the panel every time when you want to turn off the little candle. Or you can use a strand of fairy lights. I would probably pull them apart a little bit more than that. But the, the fairy lights also have an, a control on the outside that you can turn on and off without having to open the lantern up. I will put a link for both the candle and the fairy lights down below.